Evening guys, Al here again, off on another adventure, or should I say, I've been out on another adventure again, and the files are corrupted, nightmare, so again, I'm doing the intro after I've been out, so we're going to fish the River X, myself and Tim, just decided to work today, so let's get going. down on the mark now two traces about to go out uh, a lot of color in the water uh, there's a lot of bling on this but it's just the, the stuff that i pulled out of the garage uh, it was a bit of a, a quick one just after work so first one seaway sloop rig seaway at the bottom second one long flowing trace seaway at the bottom lug worm on both let's get them pumped out so first one only a little tiddly nice to see hopefully there's big ones out there 10 minutes in, maybe a numbers game tonight. So they're getting a little bit bigger, still not the size that we want. There's number three, sea weights, rigs are smashing it at a minute. Happy days. So again, they are getting a little bit bigger. Here's a numbers game at a minute. Hopefully there's a big one out there. Well, we don't want none of those. That is tiny. So not only has he got a little bass, a little flounder. Happy days, only a small one. Maybe there's a big one out there. Well done, mate. Yeah, that'll be the last little schoolie that I'll show you. Just to show you what it's like. It is a numbers game. But yeah, we'll keep plugging on. So we said it was a numbers game, but that is what we came for. Happy days, that's four pound on the nose. So I'll take that all day long. Hopefully there's a couple more out there. Let's get it put back. So it's good little scrap. Let's give it a bit of time. We'll always wait until they start kicking. Little, little. So we're at the top of the tide now. It is like a mill pond. Um, yeah, it's just died now. No bites. Um, We've gone through a pound of lug um, in about two and a half hours. It's just been non-stop up until now. So I think we've got about five, six worms left. So we'll use them and uh, see if we can get any more. So I did say that I wouldn't show you any more schoolies, but I just wanted to show you the rig that Tim is using. That is crazy. Yeah, he's had loads on that tonight. Madness. Well done, mate. So we've run out of worm. End of session there. There we go, guys. Another session done. Turned out to be all right, to be fair. Uh, when I got there, I wasn't expecting much colour in the water. Uh, I forgot my head torch. So, yeah, it's just one of those nights, really, where I thought it's not going to happen. However, the rods were banging all the way up until top of the tide. As soon as the tide turned, it just flattened off like a mill pond and it just it just switched right off. However, I think we had 11, 12 bass maybe. Uh, obviously you saw we had a few tiddlers uh, and the better size one at four pound, which makes the session, it was definitely worth getting out there. Um, and the fish were fighting really hard. I don't know why. the. I mean, the the water wasn't moving too much, 
but but they just seem to fight so hard. Me and me and Tim both said to each other, yeah, they're scrapping tonight. So definitely worth getting out. Thank you as always to Tim, because uh, if he hadn't mentioned it, I wouldn't have gone out and I managed to get the bass. So thank you. As always, guys, give us a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. So any adventures that we go on, you can come with us and we'll see you in the next session.